Thousands of Australians who are brain injured each year suffer visual impairment as a result. A new therapy tool has been developed by Flinders University. Researchers hope it will give patients a better understanding of their vision loss and the skills they need to cope. It may look like a game, but this software program is helping people like Matthew Mitchell adjust to vision loss. Nice work. The solicitor lost peripheral vision on his left side as a result of a stroke in April. I don't notice everything that's on the left hand side. It interferes with my reading because I don't go back far enough. And I suppose if I'm walking down the street and don't notice a car, it could be a bit dangerous. His rehabilitation with the guide dogs involves a trial of this new touchscreen program. It helps assess how well people are learning new skills to cope with the change in their vision and replaces traditional pen and paper methods. The advantage of this system is that uh, you get immediate feedback of whether you get the thing right or wrong and it records your improvement over time. And, and be frank, it's more fun. In that process of competing against themselves or having um, like a game approach to the task, they're learning the skills and they're more engaged in it and therefore it has more impact. One of the tasks involves matching products on a shopping list to products in a catalogue. What I was looking for particularly were things that people would do every day and I think that's important that they see that um, they can relate to it. The software was developed by Flinders University's Medical Device Partnership Program for the company Neurovision Technology Systems. The Adelaide-based company is trialling the program in South Australia, in the UK and with war veterans in the United States. Emma Rebellato, ABC News, Adelaide.